today i'm going to show you how to leverage fabric data pipeline to migrate data from snowflake warehouse to azure sql database which is an important data engineering task let's get started i'm going to come to my snowflake warehouse in the warehouse i've got this sales table located under the fabric schema and in my Azure SQL database, in the query editor, I've got a single F transaction table. So we will come to the Microsoft Fabric and then I want to actually create a data pipeline. So I can click on new inside this workspace or any workspace and then choose data pipeline. And then we're going to give name for our data pipeline. Let's call it transfer data from Snowflake to Azure SQL and then click create. In the data pipeline environment, I'm gonna click on activities at the top here, and then I wanna choose the copy data activity. I can choose to use the copy assistant, but we'll use the graphical interface, and they wanna see everything at the bottom here. So click on add to canvas. So we have this copy data activity added to the canvas. Now, in the general tab, we can give a meaningful name to our task data pipeline so let's just call it um transfer data and then we can give a description let's just type in test now this is optional for the activity states this is going to be activated we can choose to deactivate if you like but we will actually successfully ingest so this is going to be activated i want to come to the source now in the source this is going to be an external work so i'm going to choose the external data store type and then i can select the connection i'm going to click on this drop down and i'm going to set for snowflake now this is my snowflake credentials i've got some videos on that i'm going to put that in the link description below so you can watch them and then click on that so i can go on and test whether there's a connection established to my snowflake warehouse so click on test connection connection successful amazing and then we can select the specific database within the warehouse so i'm going to click on this drop down and then i want to select the fabric db database I can scroll up a little bit and then I can go on and select the table or the query. Now I want to specifically use a table or migrate a table in the use query. And then I'm going to come to this drop down for the table and I want to point to the fabric schema and the sales table. So I'm going to click on that. Now before I go on, I can click on this preview data to see the content. Amazing. So we can see the preview of the data here. So close the window for now. That's okay for the source. And then we'll go to the destination. So this is gonna be where we want to launch the data. Now we can choose the data store type. We can land internally inside Fabric, but we we'll wanna actually focus on landing the data in Azure SQL database. So we'll point to the external store type. And then for the connection, I'm gonna click on the drop down. I wanna set for the Azure connection I established for the connection I'm gonna click on this drop down and I want to set for my Azure server which in this case is fabric 101 so I can click on that that's the database and then I can go on and specify the connection type so click on this drop down and then I want to point specifically to Azure SQL database and then I can test the connection whether there's a connection established amazing connection successful and they want to point to the specific database that they want to land the data. So we want to land inside my Fabric DB database. And of course, I can see the name of my database here in Azure. That's fine. And then for the table option, I want to actually create a new table. So click on this auto create table. And then we can give a meaningful name to the table. Let's just call it sales for the schema. And then for the table name, I'm going to call it transaction table. So you have the schema name and the table name. And they can add dynamic content if you choose but that's not needed in this case and that's all for now i can click on the color mapping now in the color mapping i can specify the conversion settings and so on now we want to go to the settings now in the settings the intelligent throughput optimization is auto which is fine now let's focus on enabling staging now the temp this is going to be the temporary location where the data is going to be staged particularly in the lake house and then for the data store type for the staging, we want to point to the workspace because the lake house is in the workspace. Okay, so I'm going to add one more activity just to get an email notification upon the successful 
landing of the data into the Azure SQL database. I will click on this Outlook and then I'm just going to move this up here a little bit. And I want to drag this on success. I want to get a notification. So I'm going to come to this activity and then in the settings, I can just give a meaningful name and then I'm going to come to the settings. In the settings, I'm going to sign in into my M365 Outlook account. Click on sign in and then choose your account. I'm going to send a notification to one of the emails in my tenant. So I'm going to paste here and I'm going to call this one Enoch and then I can give it a subject. Let's just call this one test and then I can come into the body. I can just put in a few words. I, I can even specify by choosing the data pipeline from the dynamic content. Click on that and that's all we need to do. I can come back here to check whether everything is fine. I can come to the source. So everything looks good in the destination, everything looks good. Now we can come to the home and then I can click on validate. There we go. You can see your pipeline has been validated. No errors were found close. And then we can go on and execute. By the way, you can actually even schedule the ingestion if you like, but we just want to ingest everything once. So click on run and then click on save and run. And then we're going to wait for some couple of minutes for the data to be successfully ingested into the Azure SQL database. Amazing, run succeeded. And then we can see the activity status succeeded. Now let's go and check in the Azure SQL database. I can come here and then I can go on and refresh the database. And then upon the refresh, I'm going to click on the expandable icon for the tables. And there we go. We have the sales schema dot transaction table. And then I can go on and query the data. So let's just select all the records and then I can run the query. And there we go. I can close this for now. So we can see that all oh, the data is now available in the Azure SQL database. Amazing. I can come back to the Snowflake and then I'm going to click on monitoring. And then I can scroll to the right and this is exactly the query ID, the status successful. And then I can see the username and of course the time. So you can see when we check this time, this time you can see they are very close. And then we have our data for analysis. And then when we come back to the Fabric Data Pipeline, we have the data pipeline. This is basically how we can use the Fabric Data Pipeline to ingest data from Snowflake to Azure SQL Database. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like this video, share with your friends, and comment. Thank you for watching.